Hey everybody, I wanted to make a short video here on the new release of uh, my Rally Sport Z28, 69 Rally Sport Z28 that everybody's been waiting a long time for and they are finally in hand now and I'm ready to send those out. So I just wanted to show you the box art which came out really nice. And I'll open it up here in a minute. <clears throat> and on this one, uh, unlike the Le Mans Blue car that I had released last year, I'm going to be numbering each one of the boxes. Actually, the Le Mans Blue one was numbered as well, but it was on the back and on the bottom. But now I'm going to be putting a number on each box as shown here. Also, like the Le Mans Blue Car, you will receive a, an, a replica of an original sales invoice that they used to give out at the dealer in 69, along with this so-called, what I call, trim card, which is similar to the Cal tag on the real car that shows the uh, GM codes. And then on the back of that card, a replica of the protecto plate, which I call a protecto card that has the information that the protecto plate would have had back then. And then it's in a pouch like this inside the box. And like the Le Mans blue car, uh, the styrofoam and everything is the same. Now, there have been a lot of improvements done on this car over the blue car. Um, there were a lot of in, inconsistencies and, and inaccuracies on the previous cars that, that have been done in the past. And I tried to correct all of those on this car. So first of all, let me pull this out. First of all, the Z28, the 69 Z28s never had a white shift ball. They, they were all chrome, as shown here. All of them with the console were chrome. Uh, the white, I believe, came on the non-console cars, but all the console cars had a chrome shift ball, which this one has. The other thing is the deluxe interior uh, on the bottom of the door panel was black, just like shown there. So I had them paint that black. Um, also on the rally sport cars, the bottom of the, uh, the rocker panel below the chrome was also painted black on, the, on some of the rally sport cars, some of the colors, I should say. But rally green would have been painted black under there. So I had them do that. The other thing is that is really great, unlike any of the other releases, the 69Z28 never came with a Space Saber spare tire. So I got them to put a full-size spare in the trunk. And they did. Thank you to Acme for, for doing that. So now you get a full-size spare in the trunk, just like the real car. And this is an actual tire uh, wheel and tire that you can use on the on the model in case something happens or whatever this one has a painted front bumper and in 69 some of you may or may not know, but the USA 1 license plate on the cars back then were year specific. They were specific to each year. In 69, it said 
keeping you first or putting you first keeps us first. And if I can get the camera to focus in on that. There you go. So I had them do it exactly like the original 1969 USA one. And they did a great job. And on the back stripe, I had them move the stripe over to be more like the original stripes on the on the Z28. Now, the early, early 69 Z28s, the stripes were closer together, but these are the correct distance apart from one another. Now, also on my Le Mans blue car, I had I had put numbers on the bottom of the car of each car. And on this one, like, like the other Acme cars, the number will be inside the trunk on the driver's side, side of the trunk, as you can see there. This is car number one. So every car will be numbered in this location from one to 302. And like the other one, the license plate opens up to the gas cap. Now, one thing that they improved on this car over the previous cars, and thank goodness for that, are the seat belts. The seat belts are way better than they were on the original on the uh, previous cars these they they ran them down the back of the seats like that so it no longer affects the functionality of the seat they were they really hindered the functionality of the seat on the previous models so it looks like that they fixed that on this one which is great So I think that's it for this presentation of the car for the first time. Let me open the hood. Everything is the same on under the hood on this car as the Le Mans blue one. It's got the red cap battery. It's got the actual uh, spring hinges, as you can see there just like the real car. And everything else is pretty accurate under here. Now, I've got a burnished brown car coming out this year, later this year. And I'm gonna, it, it's supposed to be a non-rally sport car, but it depends on whether or not they, wore, they move that washer bottle over to the driver's side the washer bottle was only on the right side of the car on the Rally Sports because they had the vacuum canisters over here on the Rally Sport only. The non-Rally Sport car, the washer bottle is on this side. If I can get them to switch it over to this side, then the Burnish Brown car will be a non-Rally Sport car. If they can't, then the Burnish Brown will be a Rally Sport car like this. I, I just don't like that inaccuracy on them. Anyway, that's it for this car, and uh, I will be sending these out here over the next few days in the order that they were bought. And I hope you guys enjoy the car. It is a fantastic model. Even the tire, uh, the Goodyear tire um, white letters are exactly the same as the original. Um, this is absolutely the most accurate depiction of a 1-8 scale 69Z28. If you haven't already purchased one, 
Uh, I've only got, I think there are only about 75 left, maybe less. And they're going to go pretty fast at this point. So they're, they're, uh, they're only 302 produced. And like I said, I've only got about seven, 60 or 70 of them left. So if you want one, you better grab it because once they're done, that's it. I'm never going to do another Rally Green again unless I can do a non-Rally Sport in the future. But it wouldn't be anytime soon. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me on my website if you want to buy the car. It's also on my website at digitalpizza.com. So that's www.digitalpizza.com. And if you have any other questions, just contact me through there. Okay, well, thank you for watching.